Hey James, what's up? How did it go? Rough. Very, very rough. Really? Man, I'm starving. Like I'm very, very hungry. Yeah, go and freshen up and let's have dinner. Are we going out for dinner? No, there's food in the kitchen. Food in the kitchen? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, bro. I will buy before you will know it. Nancy. Isn't it time you stop? Come on. Has crying ever solved any issue that you know of? For your information, Nancy, whenever I come around again and I see you in this mood, I will simply assume that you don't want to see me around. And if that is the case, just tell me and I will know what to do. Isn't that your phone ringing? I don't want to speak with anyone. It's alright. But you know I don't like seeing you in tears. <sighs> Lena. Lena. You can't believe it. I feel like I'm in some sort of dreamland. It's, it still feels like a dream to me. I'm here to come to terms with her betrayal. It is obvious because that is who she is. You can't let her win. But she's won already. She is with my man. No. She can only win if you allow her to take away your happiness. Yes. You're here crying, crying like a baby. She's probably somewhere having a good time. Come on, Nancy. You need to stop now. You need to stop. Please, is anything in this house? I'm furnished. I'm so hungry. There is food in the kitchen. Please, you need to do the needful. I'm so hungry, please. Did he have a bad day? He doesn't look happy. No. He did not have a bad day. I mean, your brother does not like me. You can't be so sure about that. I know my brother James, he's not the type to hate on anyone. I'm not sure he hates you. And he does not like me either. I mean, come on, Steve. I am not a child. Your brother does not like me. In fact, since I started coming to this house, he doesn't even like me, even with Nancy around. I think he has this resentment for me, and I'm surprised you've not noticed. You have moved in. He doesn't have a choice now. I pray so, because your brother looks like a stubborn one, and I don't think I can deal with it. James can be stubborn sometimes, but like I said, you've moved in and 
He doesn't have a choice. Hey, enough of James. Let's eat our oranges, all right? At least stay. Please. Please, eat your oranges. Sweet. Yeah. Tastes really nice. I am very sorry for what you passed through. It's a very terrible situation. It was, but such is life, you know? Those experiences, they help to mold us into being the man we are to be, you know? Experience, they say, is a teacher. Uh, I hope you've learned one or two things from those experiences. Yes, sir. Initially, it wasn't easy. But I had to realize that um, I do not need to put my hope on man. Thank God we are here. By His grace, I'm moving on. Okay, I've actually gone through your CV. And I must say that I'm impressed. Thank you, sir. Very, very impressed. Thank you, sir. You were the general manager in your former office before you were sacked. Um, yes, sir. I was the project supervisor before I was promoted as the general manager. Coincidentally, the office of the general manager of this company is vacant currently because the, the last general manager traveled out of the country after marriage. So, I have found a new general manager for this company. Just that the new general manager I have found has not been told. He's not aware that he is the new general manager of my company. Oh, really? I was even planning to apply, but it's fine, sir. Since you have gotten someone, maybe if there is any other uh, position I can fit in, I will apply or send in. Oh, yes. Mr. Tony, I have found the new general manager of my company. And he is right here with me, sitting before me. Mr. Tony, congratulations. You are the new general manager of C and C Enterprises. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you, sir. I didn't know how to get this on the platter. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Actually, you didn't get it on the platter of good. It was out of merit. Yes, I went through your CV and I was impressed. Then considering the fact that uh, on that fateful day that I was attacked by those heartless beings, you weren't the first person that saw me there. But God chose you to be the reason I'm alive in the land of the living today. I tell you, Mr. Tony, this is the beginning of great things in your life. Amen. This Amen. Is the beginning of Amen. great things God will do in your life through me. Oh, Jane. Here you are. I was actually searching for you around the house. I wanted to go to the mall to do groceries. I don't know if you can accompany me. Accompany you to where? Oh, you want to set me up like you did to Nancy? Tell them that you didn't see me. James, what are you talking about? Hey, why don't you just save the pretense? If you don't know your way to the mall, why don't you sit back at home? Listen, I don't mingle with underhand like you. I beg your pardon?
Hey, what's wrong? You don't look happy. Is it not your brother? I mean, all I did was to ask him to accompany me to the mall. He did not only say no, he went ahead and started insulting me and calling me names. My brother called you names? Why should he do that? Why don't you find out from him? Um, babe, I, I apologize, please, all right? I think the problem is he is used to Nancy. Yes. But the thing is, he'll get over it, I promise you. I'll make sure of that, okay? Please. Just talk to him. I'll sort it out. I will. It's Steven. It's your son, Steven. What happened to Steven? James just called me a few minutes ago to inform me that Steven ended the relationship he has with Nancy and replaced her with her best friend. That is it. Hey, what do we call this now? What could Nancy have done to Stephen to deserve all this? I have eh? even called him to know why he did such a thing. He's not talking what I will even understand. And now I have informed Mazi Bekwa and the Nana of our impending visit to Nancy's village for the marriage introduction. Just now, that. just look at it. Stephen wants to disgrace me in this village. He wants to disgrace me in this village. Why would Stephen do such a thing to Nancy? Eh? What is all this? Nancy. After I have invited all the prominent men in this village, and the women have taken drinks to them, they are now waiting for me the day I will come and tell them, this is the day we are going. <sighs> you better call him and talk to him. Otherwise, Stephen, you will have me to contend with. I, Mazio Koye, I have said my own. Now you take it easy, eh? I think I have to call Stephen myself. Or better still go to this, this city and find out what is happening. What is all this? You better do. You better do. You better do. Stephen. Hey, hmm. Look at me. Oh. What do I tell him the all my friends that I have invited? Eh? How can Stephen bring such a shame to my face? Okay. He wants to disgrace me in this village. I am fine, but everything is not fine. How can everything be fine when you are not around? Come on, Nancy. This house is so dry without you. Of course you know exactly what I'm talking about. Your mother is finally coming? When? This weekend? Nice, nice. I think our presence is greatly needed. And I have my plans too. Yes. Alright, I'll come over to the house tomorrow. Don't worry. I know exactly what to do. Yes. Just take good care of yourself, okay? Take good care of yourself. 
All right. Yes. 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 This is good. Madam, Madam, make you have mercy for me, I beg. You know go happen again. Eh, I swear. Oh, I shut up! Shut up! Of course you won't happen again. Look, let me tell you something. If you try this nonsense, if you ever try to disobey me in this house, I will throw you out. And that will be without no pain. I don't go try Do you hear me? I don't go try Now get out. Okay. Open the gate! You foolish boy. Don't break my gate while they come. Uh -uh. Good afternoon. Uh -huh, good afternoon, madam. Um, who did they find? I'm looking for Steve. Steve, my ogre? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, madam, don't come. Thank God. No, good afternoon. Uh -huh, good afternoon. Who are you looking for? What are you doing here? I'm looking for Steve. He's my son. <laughs> oh, please, pardon me. What kind of a cheap lie is that? My daughter, what lie are you talking about? Steve's mom, and your son is not aware that you're coming, and you did not inform him, or did you? Oh, please, come on. Who are you? What are you doing here? It's true I didn't tell him, but James is the one coming. Oh, James. So this is what James has been up to. Oh, look, 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 woman. I don't know what you're up to. I know that you are actually Nancy's mom. Yes, I do know. You think I don't know? <laughs> of course I know. Of course, I am very much aware. And I know that you came here with Juju. Hmm? But look, let me tell you, woman. You see this Juju that you came with? It will not work. I said it will not work. Even if you like, bring it for a book with her or bring it from anywhere. You see me? That you do will not harm me. You see Steve? Steve is mine. Steve belongs to me. Steve is the love of my life. I have him here and he has me too. So you cannot bring Juju to come and do anything to my man. We are one forever and forever in happiness. Okay? Look, Afam, hey, I don't know who this woman is and what she is doing here. But don't let her into this house. The moment I leave. And madam, uh, uh, please, I don't want to hear anything. Just go and wait outside. Because as you can see, I'm actually going out. And I cannot let you, a stranger for that matter, with what I don't know you have inside that village bag. So please, stay outside. Okay? You mean I should stay outside? You know the hell with in talk. He say make you go outside. He they ask her whatever he stay. In talk say make you, they go. This if, one is too much now. Madam, if they tie a part for your ear, make I help you lose them. You better say this way, they, they make you make you know they hear well. Oh, yeah. No, they waste time. No, they look back, they don't, they don't, they don't. 